Hello friends, this is VFX Artist and today I am back with a new tutorial. This tutorial is about 3D model integration into a live action footage. Friends, this tutorial will be of 3 parts and this is the first part of it. So don't forget to watch the other 2 parts. For the first part, this is the camera tracking tutorial in Nuke along with the settings to minimize the track errors. So without wasting any more time, let's just start. For importing a footage in Nuke, you can either press R and select from over here. Or you can simply drag the file like this. So friends, this is the footage, you can see a table and some marks pointed on it. This is where I am gonna place the 3D model of some clothes that I am having that I have downloaded from some site. This is a pretty lengthy footage, so I am firstly gonna trim it. Just press S for the project settings and define the frame range. First we need to camera track it, just hit tab and type camera track. Set the range to global and define the number of features to 300. You can choose more number of features but it will take more time. Take this preview features to view how many trackers will be taken on the footage. Then go back to the camera tracker and just click on track. It will take some time on your PC so I am just fast forwarding it. Once the tracking is done, just click on the solve. You can see the solve is completed, but there are some red track marks, which are the rejected marks, which have created the error. The error value is here is 1.14, which is above 1, and it will be a good track if we can keep it below 1. So here is a method to do it. You can see three options, minimum length, max track errors and max error. We'll have to refine it. Let me increase the area a bit. Firstly click the track length minimum, then press ctrl and click minimum length. Left click on the area and press F to focus. Now you can see this is the bar which defines the minimum length. Just bring it above all the peaks. Slightly above, don't get too excited or it will cause more problems instead of solving them. Now click on error RMS and control click on max track error. Again press F to focus. Now you have to bring the bar down cutting some of the high peaks. But don't bring it too down or it will cause many problems. Or it will result in reducing your track marks. Like you can see more marks are getting red.
now for the max error click on the error max and press control and click max error bring the bar down cutting some of the high peaks now you are done just delete the unsolved and reject it you can see now the solve error is below 1 now go back to the camera tracker and you can see the error is now 0.83 you can click on solve to resolve it now you can see under this export there is a camera here you can create camera and other but before creating the camera or the scene firstly we will select the tracks above the table and we will set it to ground plane so the camera will detect these trackers as the ground for the grid mark now create a scene you can unlink the output hit on create this is the 3d scene these small dots are the point clouds that will show you the tracker marks on the 3d scene now what we have to do is we have to place a card on the table in order to mark its position so that when we go to the maya then we can place the our 3d model of clothes on the card select one of the tracker right click it and create an axis Copy the position of the axis to the position of the card. Let me just scale and rotate it. Now in order to view this card over the footage we need a scanline renderer. Hit tab and type scanline renderer. Place this PG arrow on the footage. Let me connect the card to the scene. This camera will go to the camera. And this scanlan renderer scene will go to this scene. Now press one on the scanlan renderer and hit tab to switch the view. Now you can see the position of the card on the table. But it's not in perspective, so let me fix it. Now, when we hit play, you can see the card is properly fixed with the table. You can even confirm by using a checkerboard. Let me 
increase its size. So when we play it, you can see it's now properly fixed. So this is the position where I will put CG clothes that I'm having. Don't forget to save the file or it may get crashed. Now the final step is to export the camera and this geometry. So in order to do so, hit the tab and take a node called right geo. Click on this little file icon and type nukedata.fbx. Don't forget to write .fbx. As soon as you will click open, it will give you more options. But we don't need these last three. We just need camera and geometry. Oh and before that, don't forget to reattach the camera into the scene because the right geometry is taking the data from the scene. Now with both of these selected, just click on execute, change the frame range to global, click on ok. Now you can see it's creating your file. When it's finished, you can see your file with the same name in the folder. So our work here in Nuke is done. Now the next step is in Maya where we will place the 3D model and take out its passes to compose it in Nuke again. Don't forget to like this video and support to my channel for more videos like this. Hit on the subscribe button. I'll come back with the second part in Maya. Thanks for watching. This is Rishabh. Bye bye.